Hello everyone and welcome to another Jack of Blades video. If you couldn't tell by the title, we are covering Battleborn today and more specifically my Caldarius Harasser build. Now one thing I'd like to get out of my way uh, about my build videos is that they're mainly going to be covering incursion and story mode as they are the more core game modes in my mind to Battleborn. That being said, these videos can be a great baseline for your own build, so don't be afraid to keep watching if neither of those two things are your thing. Um, without, with that out of the way, let's move on. Um, we're going to tackle uh, a specific order. Um, we're going to be doing uh, gear first, and then we're going to be moving on to um, helix next. So we're going to move over to gear now. We're going to scroll down to my Caldarius. And right away, I'm going to defend my triple legendary build. These are what I run personally, but I can easily, but they can easily changed up by anyone. Um, these are just kind of the baseline for you to try and create a build for yourself. This is just what I run. So, um, also the stats on legendaries and gear as a whole are kind of random rolls. So I'm not going to cover the stats on specifics. I'm just going to tell you what each uh, piece of gear gives you as a bonus. I'm not going to give you the numbers. So first of all, we're going to be using executive insurance policy, which gives you um, maximum shield bonus and uh, gives you uh, um, shard gen per second, which is kind of your shard generator for this build. Um, its legendary bonus is when your shield's broken and recharged to full, you get an overshield of roughly five to 600 for about eight seconds. Um, it it's pretty essential for generating shards throughout the match, but it's it's passive, so that's one of the best things about it. Um, next is uh, medical nano colony. Uh, this piece of gear has health regen and it also has shield recharge rate, which is kind of a detriment to this uh, piece of gear. Um, but the legendary effect that you get out of this is that while your shield is recharging, you gain another 17.47. I don't know if that's specific or if it rolls higher. Um, while your shield's recharging per second, you get an extra 17.47 uh, health regen. Um, so this is really good for keeping you sustained uh, as this build kind of wants you to be um, across the entire match. You want to be as active as possible, and this is going to help you... Um, maintain your presence on the field more often um so lastly we have caldarius's legendary um blade of transfusion this gives you attack speed and skill damage which are both good things to have as caldarius and they're good stats as a whole so you're not losing anything by having those two but what you're really putting this piece of gear on is for the legendary bonus for caldarius which is aerial assault heals caldarius for 50 percent of the total damage dealt this can save your life a lot. And when I mean a lot, I mean a lot. Like, Caldarius' ultimate isn't the most amazing, but with this added to it, it becomes a pretty useful piece of equipment in Caldarius' kit. So, that's the gear. We're going to move on to Helix options now. And I'm just going to kind of rapid fire this. Um, if in future videos you guys want me to explain a little bit more about why I'm choosing these things that I can, I just want to keep this one short and sweet and just let you see what I run and see what you want to run in comparison or see if you think you're building your character right or something like that. Um, so I take blind and bloodied on your right for your first option. It's just a solid pick. Um, I don't see any reason why you would take your left side pick. For here, I take exit strategy because um, it's just the better of the two options, in my opinion. You have to hit and make it effect, but you're not going to be really using your gravitic burst for attacking. So there's that. Um, next, you're going to take afterburner. This is a flat line 9% sprint speed bonus to Caldarius, and I think it's the best of these three options, in all honesty. Next, for your four, you're going to be taking Flash or Barrage, my personal opinion. A lot of people I see take, uh, take Flash MIRV. I don't know why. I think Flash Barrage is better. You lose some damage, but you get to cover a lot more area on blind targets for longer with um, Flash Barrage. So, Next, we take Gravitic Ascent on your left. That lets you jump higher with your second jump and reduces your fall speed. 
Um, improved thrusters just isn't, it's not as good as where it used to be before it got uh, adjusted. So I take Rivetic Ascent. For your uh, six, we're going to be taking the rapid dominance reduction in your uh, flashbang's cooldown, for obvious reasons. Cool, uh, your flashbang is your main damage output, and you probably want to it, easily your best piece of kit for Caldarius. So you're going to want it as often as you possibly can. Um, for your number seven, we're going to take micro fusion cell, uh, eight extra shots, and your TMP clip is. I can't even explain how awesome it is. Um, the 18% damage on your blade attacks is not, not even close to worth it. Um, well, next for eight, we're going to take Gravitic Stabilizers, which allows your dash distance with Gravitic Burst to be increased. You can go further, um, pretty much using Blade, or Gravitic Burst, I was going to call it Blade Dash, that's what I call it, for the escape utility that I think it truly is, just like Pendles has a smoke bomb or Dandy has hollow twins, I think Gravitic Burst is an escape utility for Caldarius. Nothing more. Um, for your number nine, this is kind of a, you know, pick your poison between two options. I personally have been taking Cluster Burst recently because of the loss of damage that you take in your, um, in your number four for Flash Barrage. I like the increased damage personally, because flashbang is your main source of damage output. Now, you can't go wrong with phase bang because flash barrage is allowing you to hit more targets because you can kind of blanket a larger area as you fire the three shots in succession. It, it definitely reduces the cooldown by a significant amount more than 20% you already took earlier. So cluster burst and phase bang are two viable options for this build. And then lastly, I can't say to take anything else but Tuned Actuation. The 20% cooldown on your ultimate and the instant launch are huge bonuses, whereas Aerial Barrage only nets you 81 damage over 2 seconds in about the same area of radius as his, um, as his slam. And the knockback, if it worked like um, Atticus's old Pounce maneuver did, then I would probably take it but it would still be a tough choice but tuned actuation is probably easily one of the best um, options for this character <laughs> at your level 10 um, there's not much more I wanted to say about this build I just kind of wanted to go over it really quickly um, for future videos uh, let me know if you want longer more detailed explanations um, if you want to see the build in action, I can make gameplay videos, short um, clips showing you why each piece of the gear, each piece of equipment is useful for this kit, and I can explain in the video why I use them. But pretty much that's all I wanted to get off for this build video. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and um, see you on Battleborn.